you, we're Seth Vision coming at you today with yet another video. Today we're talking about getting the most action, the most success out of your fluke style baits. I always try to break it down as simple as I can, so I chose my two fluke style baits of different sizes. I'm talking about the PTL JB Hammer Shad in the 4.8 size, and then the JB Hammer Shad in the original 3.6 size. The three things I want to cover to get the best action and the best success out of your fluke style baits is number one, knowing how to rig it, of course. Number two, knowing which size fluke to pick. And number three, knowing how to actually work the bait and having the patience to work it. So first off, let's start with how I like to rig my fluke style baits, the 3.6 inch and the bigger 4.8 inch hammer shad in order to get the best success out of them. Let's say there's a certain shoreline that I wanna go through. I know there's swing shad there, I see them, I see them on my device, or I just know from past experiences or there's a possibility that there are. And the grass or whatever structure that is on that shoreline drops off at around five or six foot deep. So essentially, let's say I'm fishing the three to four foot range, mostly maybe two foot, occasionally targeting those deeper edges at five or six feet. In that case, I would choose an eighth ounce or a 16th ounce five aught owner twist lock hook. This is a weighted worm hook that's gonna go on your JP Hammer Shad. Now the key in my opinion with fluke style baits is not overworking the bait, not slapping a quarter ounce, 316, not slapping a half ounce weight on this lure and making it bounce up and down really fast. In a shallow water situation with their shad around, you really want to target that dying shad bite, okay? And the best way you can get that dying shad look for your fluke style bait is going as light as possible and going as natural as possible. Light equals natural in that situation, in that shallow water, shad around, lots of action situation. Of course, being at fall, we have a lot of shad bites going on. So this is something that I'm constantly using from the September all the way up to the November months. Now let's say it's a little bit deeper. Let's say maybe I am mainly targeting those deeper edges. Let's say it goes maybe all the way to 10 feet or so down this shoreline. I'm gonna rig up the 3.6 inch JP Hammer Shad in a little quarter ounce jig, just like this one. I'll screw it on there and I'll actually pop it. Pop, pop, give it a few seconds, pop, pop 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 and just let it kind of jig up and down in that in that middle of the water column. It's also a style that maybe not a lot of fishermen use. My favorite way in that situation is having a buddy throw a really big spinner bait off the back or off the front and have yourself or your buddy throw, like I just said, that 3.6 inch shad style GP hammer shad in a quarter ounce weight. Between those two styles though, the most I use is that 4.8 JP hammer shad and that five out eight ounce weight. It's important to remember that if you're doing that really natural movement with your bait, if you're keeping your bait very naturally weighted, that those fish, even in five or six foot water, will come up and smash that bait. Many of the bass my dad and I have caught in the past have been on a fluke style bait, such as that JP Hammer Shad. So now that we talked about how to rig them and when to choose what size, I wanna talk about how to exactly work the bait. The 4.8 JP Hammer Shad on the lighter weight, I like to cast out, and then I like to do a twitch, twitch to the side. Again, rod tip down. Wait about two or three seconds and twitch, twitch again. Very light twitches though. You wanna basically just feather your rod tip to get that bait to basically move underwater very naturally. Now when we're talking about fishing a fluke style bait in a heavier style and deeper water with that 3.6 inch JP Hammer Shad, I like to keep my rod tip up. I like to do the twitch, twitch. Again, two or three seconds. If you're working it too fast, you're basically working out of the water column and you're probably not getting the bites. If you're working it too slow, you're probably getting caught in grass a lot, even with a weedless hook, or you're feeling the grass or structured tug on your bait. Usually around that two to four second pattern is pretty good. The shallower you are, the less you have to wait to go out and twitch it again. Now the rod that I use in both situations that I feel gets the best action out of those baits is just a seven foot regular old St. Croix out of inshore. Now because I fish in Florida and I do a lot of saltwater fishing, this is a inshore model, so you can do both freshwater and salt water so that's why I chose the inshore model versus just the regular old Avid but this is a medium light power fast action that fast action tip is going to allow you to gently feather the bait around and use the rod tip to actually twitch and embark a lot of action on that bait without having to twitch too hard. SC3 Graphite of course makes a really strong super sensitive rod and that's key for this type of fishing because this is really a type of finesse fishing to me. That Graphite is going to allow for you to feel those really 
really, really light twitches that those fish may give you, especially once the water starts cooling off, you might get lighter and lighter bites, of course. Now, on the real end, I like to pair it with a Shimano Stratic 3000. I just feel like it's overall a really good size. Again, I'm in Florida, I got a lot of brush, a lot of different structures I've been dealing with, so it allows a little extra backbone, um, as does this rod. But if you're in an area where you just the only structure you have to really worry about is maybe brush piles or rocks or something like that down your shoreline. You can probably get away with using something a little bit lighter. Don't twitch too hard. Don't be afraid to go light. Let the lure do the work for you and the fish will come. If you're interested in getting these baits by PTL, I've got a great discount code below for you guys in the description. And if you guys know, I always do giveaways as much as I can every month. For wrapping it up, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, guys, and many more are to come. Have a great week, weekend, and enjoy your day's fishing. Tight lines and don't forget the nets.